Hey, welcome back to JK Survival Bushcraft. For a long time, I've been telling you guys that I was gonna do a video on what I take on extended trips, uh, traveling long distances in the truck, what I carry. So today, I pulled everything out. I just got back from a recent excursion and I was out for four days. I had quite a bit of stuff that needed cleaned up. So I got, the, got stuff cleaned up, it's all laid out. In the meantime, I also went through the truck, got the truck all cleaned out on the inside, and storage and everything else, got everything ready. And I just wanted to show you some stuff that I take when I'm traveling across the country or moving around a, a relatively longer distance. Now, some of the stuff is redundant uh, and it stays in the truck, but I also have everything broke down. So if I'm gonna go on a bushcraft trip, I just grab a certain bag and I go. And if I'm gonna go off to work or if I'm gonna be gone for a while, I have certain bags and stuff that's ready to go. And it's all out here ready to go. I might have to add some food uh, if I'm gonna be gone for more than four or five days. But for the most part, I can roll right now and be good for a week. Might not be perfectly fed, but I'll be good enough. So here we go. There's nothing special about this. I do have the back seat folded up, uh, a dog carrier for when I throw the pups in, put the seat down, they've got a nice place. I keep a moving blanket in here as always. A folding chair and a cot for those times when I get the opportunity. There's nothing special about this truck. It's pretty plain Jane. It's been a great truck. It survived crashing an elk, so we're good there. I do have two Craftsman boxes in the back, and I keep everything in the boxes. Some stuff in the back seat. But for longer trips, I always keep antifreeze oil, washer fluid, some hand warmers. Fuel water containers, straps, tie down straps, a Craftsman portable charger with air compressor, definitely worth, worth the money on that. Always have my go bag first aid and that will open that up so you can see. And it has just about everything you could possibly need as far as minor injuries or upset stomach, colds, flu, bandages, scissors, plenty of gauze. I also keep a schmog in there, gloves, everything, everything I need and maybe, maybe a little bit more. Quick clot, you name it. Always a hiking stick somewhere around. A tool bag just has wrenches, socket set, safety glasses, tape measure, some wrenches. Nothing out of the ordinary there. A complete socket set, complete screwdriver set. Oh, I just bought brand new jumper cables a couple months ago. Road flares, tire repair kit, a machete, a bigger screwdriver, wire brush, folding shovel, and then a regular shovel. You can never go wrong with uh, tie wire, duct tape, Gorilla duct tape's the best. A beater, an adz, removable handle, and then a tow chain along with a strap. In this black bag right over here, all of this clothing fits in there. I always keep a heavier winter coat, waterproof coat, a lighter weight, winter coat, a high-vis vest, a welding jacket, a pair of summer bibs, a pair of winter bibs, a pair of winter fleece-lined pants, and a hoodie. Hand protection is important. I've got just about every glove you can think of, from welding gloves to winter gloves to you name it. A couple pair of extra socks, a beanie, and a hard hat, face mask, extra pair of boots, dark safety glasses, clear safety glasses, both of them with cheaters. I do uh, have to wear contacts now. And then your emergency bucket, that's toilet paper, paper towels, bug spray, some extra trash bags, in case you have to do the number two. We're gonna go over this. This is a, uh, well, y'all probably know what this is. This is my, my load out pair of boots with extra socks in there. This is actually kind of a neat little box.
inside. I can't really show one thing. I have extra socks, underwear, a couple shirts, high-vis shirts, an MRE, bug net, leather strop. This box intent is that if I have to go to work or if I have to go go somewhere that I can have a, a base camp, I've got a base camp. Then we have, here we have cut resistant gloves. We have a trip wire set up. We have proto wipes, portal wipes, contacts, cell phone charger, a uh, Fred Perrin, Jake, or uh, excuse me, Fred Perrin and BPS collaboration, uh, caping and skinning knife set. I actually love this. It's a heck of a heck of a game game set. 100 feet of paracord, some bug spray. Of course, can't go anywhere without number 36 bank line. And you know what that is. Small file. This is a ceramic and diamond file. A couple of different grits of uh, metal paper, spare batteries, flashlights, and a lantern. Stropping compound for the strop board that was in the top extra sharpie and some uh, electrolytes down below dude wipes and then I have two sets of clothing for in the field a uh, short sleeve and a long sleeve shirt two pair of pants one set is waxed same with the shirt Let's set up the camera for this so bear with me this might be a little bit easier Zoom in a little bit. So this is a pair of the wax pants that I made. They have knee pads. It comes with knee pads. A belt knife, pocket knife, P38. A good belt, it's a quick detach belt. And then in each cargo pocket, Some of our kits that we make this is a water kit Where is it at? there we go there's a water kit it comes with aqua tabs enough to get you a week we also have in this pocket one of our fire starting kits this one comes with a uh, Three eighths by three inch ferrocerium rod, some wax jute rope, some fire plugs, a piece of flint that you use as a striker, and a tempered hardened nail. Seen some of my other videos, you know what that's for. Our fishing kit. This comes with everything you need to run a trot line. There's fishing line, there's number 15 bank line, wax bank line, uh, many different assorted size hooks, treble hooks, all the way on down to sinkers, swivels, a bobber, and a quick deploy fishing trap. And then in this pocket, we have our signal kit. We have our signal kit. This comes with uh, a mirror, a cheap little headlight, of course the orange signal cloth, some chem lights, uh, some Marking tape, a lot of people out in the woods use marking tape to mark different things. Uh, it's an actual good little kit if you ever need to signal for rescue. That's the pants. The wax shirt is the same, same material, same brand. I do keep a Mylar. We'll get the better look over here because I got it laid out, but I do keep a Mylar emergency blanket in the breast pocket and then a second set set up the, the exact same way just not waxed the waxed clothing works great in the winter and if it's pouring down rain also have a hoodie you can never go wrong with having a hoodie a 
extra pair of tennis shoes. Just an old pair of beater tennis shoes. You never know when you're going to need uh, something other than your boots. And that's pretty much the, the go bucket is what I call it. It's good for just about anything you need. Next, we're going to pop over to my thigh bag. Now, this is everything that's in my thigh bag. And it all fits in this bag. So in this thigh bag, and the whole purpose of the thigh bag for me is that I can go out and have something on me after I dump my ruck and set up my camp. And I'll be good for just about anything, at least for a day, two days, or longer. But it comes with a uh, Swiss Army knife. It's got a nice four inch blade. It's got a saw, toothpick, tweezers, your normal, I believe this is the Pathfinder. It's or the Ranger, this is the Ranger version. I keep it lanyarded with a piece of bank line so that I don't lose it. And we have some big otter uh, expandable toilet towelettes, not toilets, you gotta use it for the toilets. Some hand sanitizer, a Sunto compass, write in the rain notepad, pencil, Sharpies, a small boo-boo kit, a small possible I call it the Possible's Med Kit. It just has anti-diarrheals, some antibiotics, cold and sinus medicine, ibuprofen, contacts. Two different headlamps. One is a rechargeable headlamp, which actually, these were the cheap ones that you get on at Amazon. And a charge on these lasts about four to five days if you're not wasting, wasting light at night. Then of course a battery operated headlamp, spare batteries, a rapid deploy ridge line, seven hanks, seven foot paracord, one inch gorilla tape, some number 36 bank line. That's the twisted, not the braided. Yeah, it's gold, you can never go wrong with having your tobacco. Then some snacks, some hand warmers, toe warmers, a couple things of coffee, electrolytes, and then a ferro rod, some fat wood, a lighter with a sail needle tap taped to it with Gorilla Tape, and some fire plugs that I make. That's it for the thigh bag. Now we're going to get into the... Oh, you all want to say hi? Yeah, it's a good girl. Little girl just had puppies. She's got four little babies. I'm sure you all have seen those videos. This is the my bushcraft setup. Now this is set up for cold weather. This is what I take whenever I go out in the woods, if I'm gonna be there for longer than three, four days or more. We'll start with, this was an Amazon survival kit. If you look at the hiking staff, it comes apart and inside of it, there are, you can put different things, fishing kits, whatever you want in there. I've got all kinds of stuff in there. Um, the one thing I did change with that is I did never seize every connection. Uh, put a piece of high-vis paracord lanyard on it. Uh, I hike with a staff. Uh, it, it just makes life a lot easier for me. I wasn't real sure about this kit. It was a gift, and I have to say, after using it, while the shovel is small, the saw blade does, does work. And when you put an edge on this, it'll cut through brush, shrubs, and it'll dig a hole. Of course, it has the can opener and the different wrench sizes. Um, I don't know if anybody ever uses that. The pickaxe section of it, it's actually useful. And then, of course, I keep a silky gomboy, a pair of work gloves. And you just take the staff apart to put onto the handle of either the Maddox or the shovel to use it. I also keep a Monster Leviathan fire starter in that specific kit. Then I have a big blue 28 watt solar char charger. I use that to keep all my electronics up, my phone, all my camera gear, microphones, my Yasu, which fits right into here, ham radio, another headlamp. We're testing that one, so I don't know how that one works. 
a grail don't leave home without a grail my garmin gp s map 66i lifesaver some chem lights some more uh, expandable to toilets and another leviathan fire starter don't really need that in there got plenty some hand sanitizer my console tool axe boys axe great axe silky katana boy 500 and i gotta tell you if you're spending any amount of time in the winter outdoors the silky gone boy is great for the smaller stuff but when you're building fires that are stretching the length of your shelter for overnight the katana boy 500 is the way to go it cuts down the energy that you expend cutting firewood and you can cut through six inch or bigger in no time and it doesn't matter if it's oak cherry it doesn't matter hickory it doesn't matter that thing just flies through it i keep a pathfinder cup and canteen set usually i have some extra stuff in there but i've been uh been whittling stuff down for these longer trips it's got a spork and fork combo i actually really like that one from the pathfinder school uh the pathfinder bottle single wall stainless and the cup this is just an attachment to this pack this pack is a us ak max it's a clone of the the newer army issue packs uh, i've been using this for seven months now and i gotta tell you it's a beast it holds up it has held up very well it's actually one of the more comfortable packs i've ever had plenty of insulation on the shoulder straps i mean that's that's over an inch thick this backpack there's back butt pad super soft the waist belt comfortable and you can see this padding in here and, and i've been using this it's adjustable to fit your frame. So if you have a longer torso or a shorter torso, you can adjust it to fit. We'll pop over. Can't go wrong. We all know what that's for. A poncho. And I'm, I'm a big fan of the military surplus ponchos. They seem to work just great. This part right here clips onto the top of that pack. And that holds my 10 by 10 oil bushcraft Spain oil tarp. They're expensive. I've had this one for five years. I have not had to treat it again. And it has, it has taken a beating. I have used it very, very hard. So inside this top kit goes that oil skin tarp number 36 bank line, number 15 bank line, a rapid deploy ridge line, some hanks of cord, and some stakes. Yes, you can carve your own stakes. That's great. Good job. Just carry stakes. Saves time. I mark mine with orange tape at the top so I can find them. So if I pull out of a toggle or pull out of a, of a hank, I don't have a problem uh, finding my stakes again and it makes it easier to see in low light and if you had to that duct tape will burn over here all of this fits into this day pack they call it a i don't know what the military calls it a combat pack or whatever and that actually clips right onto the main part of the big pack and the one thing i will say is that when you put that little pack onto that pack you look like a damn turtle floating around the woods and it, it just adds a lot of mass however it does really really help on some of these longer trips i've been taking gives me the ability to pack what i need when i get to get to setting up camp i can literally just take that pack off that's my food and provision kit and i'm done and everything is where it's supposed to be i know where it's at i've got what i need so typically for a three to four day maybe a five day, I don't pack a whole heck of a lot. I pack some dehydrated uh, milk, I'm, you gotta splurge. If you're gonna go out and do this, you're out there to enjoy yourself and have fun, we're not out there to go out and be miserable. We're out there to have a good time. So I splurge, 
I bring a coffee pot, which I just, just purchased that one. Had its first maiden run last week, and it works like a champ. A bowl and a cup, a coffee, two MREs, peak refuel. I usually carry two of those, usually a breakfast and a dinner. And what I'll say about the peak refuel, I like them better than any of the other dehydrated meals or freeze dried meals. And they are a true two servings meal. I don't think I've ever finished one of these in one sitting. So that's pretty good for me. Packet of oatmeal, cream and sugar, instant potatoes with some bouillon cubes. I usually keep about six bouillon cubes in there and some malt meal. I keep all of that. But once you get it broke in, man, I tell you what, it it's worth every 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 ounce of energy you put into it. These pants have knee pads in them. Uh, don't have to worry about getting wet. The water just rolls right off of it. Briars, I'm not getting stuck with briars anymore. Like I said, I keep keep a couple of our kits in there the signal kit water kit fishing kit this is a new addition testing out this sheath for blind dog nicholas philip philip nichols he sent me that so far i really like it you got a room to put a ferro rod you can put whatever you want in this front pouch either sharpening stone or whatever inside of it i got a j or a uh, bps adventure knife black adventure and of course you know, P38 on the belt loop and then a Gerber multi-tool. The shirt, always have a Mylar blanket in the vest pocket. Never know when you're gonna need it. A uh, Bacava, a beanie. Under Armour, 3.0's base layers. Top and bottoms. A turtleneck, support your local union. United Association shout out. A t-shirt and a flannel shirt take a good look at that t-shirt hey little girl yes you're good you're a good mommy yep, yep. well hey old school survival boot camp the dog approves and then a boonie hat last but not least is the sleep system and I when I was in the military we didn't have this type of sleep system we had a downfilled sleeping bag and that was it the bivy bag is worth its weight in gold comes with two sleeping bags an intermediate and then a heavier one and you're not going to get cold in these you're just not if you know how to build a shelter and you know how to build a fire you're not going to get cold um, th this was literally too warm for me a couple days ago when I was out and it was 27 degrees snowing like heck and it would rain so the humidity was up and uh, I literally didn't even crawl into it I just laid on top of it kind of use it to cover myself a little bit and I was toasty warm I have been out in it when it's been extremely cold and you're just not gonna get cold in this is it bulky yep it takes up that almost that whole pack and that's a big pack uh, but it's worth every penny of it the other bonus of it is with the bivy bag, if you can't set up a shelter, the bivy bag is your shelter. So, can't go wrong there. Now, a lot of people think that when you're going out and you're bushcrafting, quote unquote, that you don't have to be comfortable. Well, I'm getting a little bit older, and I gotta tell you, wife got me a hiking air mattress from Powerlix. I've had this for two years now never punctured a hole in it and it makes all the difference in taking a, a good good nap or getting some sleep so that's my setup we're going to break everything down later on and go into more details oh i forgot i always keep keep a pair of safety glasses in my pack these are actually shooting glasses comes with a couple different lenses and a nice hard case i can open this up in a bag with uh, clear, dark, and amber lenses. There's, uh, there's something to be said with protecting your eyes.
especially if you're uh, you're busting through the brush. It's worth every penny of it. Now, last, last time I weighed all this for the bush crafting section of what I just take bush crafting, I think I'm rated about 46 pounds. That's with my canteen filled up. And usually I have a three liter bladder that goes in the pack or on my back. But I also train with heavy packs and do a lot of heavy rucks. So it's a heavy loadout, but I can go out in any conditions and be perfectly fine. I'll edit this and get this sent out to you guys and hope you enjoy it.